today is going to be a fun day in my shop for me and it's not necessarily even because of the uh, the clay work that I'm going to be doing. It's more because my husband's going to come out here. He's back from his long business trip and I'm very happy to have him home. But he's going to come out here and he's going to help me uh, organize my shop a little bit more and give me the rest of the space in this workspace because right now there's storage. I don't know if you've been able to look through where my wheel is but we have our other things stored in that corner so I'm gonna hopefully get some more space in here because I'm running out. I have so many cups and when I pack the cups I have to have a place to put the boxes with the cups in it and also I'm preparing for a show uh, a show that I'm going to be doing in November for the San Joaquin Potter's Guild and I have to make things for it and as I sit here um, I have to figure out a display I have to figure out all the little things what type of lighting to use and it's a small space thankfully I started out with the smallest they had first so um, we'll see how that goes but I'm gonna do hand building for that I don't know how much throwing I'm actually gonna do for the the um, the show because I, I really now that it's getting cooler out I really don't want to be out here at night so I'm gonna be inside the house doing that type of work and hey my friend is back guess who I still have come here Eddie come here I know she actually if anyone cares come on sweet come up here no yes well if anyone cares if you notice she's not as white as she used to be because she's actually gotten herself mixed in with the wild cats in the yard. So now she thinks she's all wild, even though she has no claws. But anyway, um, today's going to be an exciting day. I'm going to show you the brown stoneware cups. I'll talk about brown stoneware at the end of the clip. And uh, I'm ready to show you what we're up to today. Right? Right. Ooh, that was a rough pull. <laughs>
that's wet. I didn't realize that. Maybe it'll help. Oh dear, I forgot how far I wanted it. Okay, that's over. Okay, before I show you cup number 251 and 252, I wanted to go back to cup number 250. Uh, since that time, well, let me just say, this one, it came out the right agate wear down here, then it made it solid on top and white in the center with only a few streaks of the brown, and I think the cup itself looks really good. I was, I was very happy with it, but I really wanted to get, hold on a quick second, I really wanted it to get agate you know, mixed up and and all. And I made this cup after that, and this was going to be cup number 253, but it got a little crack in it, and you can hear it's thuddy, so you know it's it's not going to make it through a firing. But I just wanted to show you how it had turned out. This one turned out a little bit more, uh, more mixed. But cup number 251 is nothing to talk about. And this one, I, I think I'm still just trying to get used to the clay. I'm not real partial. At this moment, I can say this is not going to be my favorite clay. And I really believe I'm going to use this for uh, hand building. Um, I, I can see what I want to do with it as a hand building tool. But when I'm throwing it, I, I don't feel as inspired with form. Is that strange? I don't know. I know it, for me, I'm not as motivated by brown clay. Uh, this one, I'm sorry you didn't get to see the throw on this one. Uh, it got deleted. I had thrown some other cups that dried out too quickly and I just deleted those and this one was one of the throws that I deleted so my apologies on that. But uh, anyway, I do love the handle on this. That turned out so much better than I expected. So anyway, cup number 252. You're going to be seeing a lot of videos coming out or I'm going to edit them all the cups extremely short so that I can get caught up. Uh, in order for me to be able to finish the project on the end date, I'm going to have to try and throw ahead of the game so that I have the videos publishing uh, prior to the end of... I, I mean, I have to have the videos finished by that day. So when it comes day 365, I'll be publishing cup number 365. Now. When January gets here, obviously the cup I threw on 365 is not going to be dried and fired and bisque. So I'm assuming that January will be where you'll see the glazing and the, the firing. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. It's almost October. It's just incredible. But, anyway, I am ready to get rocking and rolling and cleaning the shop, getting rid of the flies. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. See you next time.